You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The 8th edition of the World Education Summit Conference organized by Bahrain Bayan School in cooperation with the Ministry of Education and Elite Information Technology was launched today entitled Information, Communication Technology and Creativity for a Better Future. A number of international educational experts and intellectuals, industry leaders as well as representatives from 35 local schools and government and private higher education institutions also participated. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, affirmed that the kingdom under the support of the wise leadership had made many honorable educational achievements especially in enhancing the utilization of information and communication technology in education. The minister noted that the kingdom's interest in developing electronic education had extended globally through His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa's launch of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organizations, King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa's award for the use of information and communication technologies in education. Dr. Naimi stated that the kingdom had developed in this field, especially through the cooperation between the ministry and Inja's Bahrain organization. The minister then honored the winners in the elite contest of encouraging electronic education and inaugurated the conference's accompanying exhibition. The World Today is celebrating International Women's Day, which celebrates social, economic, cultural and political achievements of women. Themed Be Bald for Change Today is a collective day of global celebration and a call for gender par parity. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins in the celebrations. More in this report. Today is an important occasion to express appreciation and honor the achievements of women on all levels in order for the progress of women to become one of the main reasons for the development and advancement of their country. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates its own National Women's Day annually on December 1st to shed light on the accomplishments of women in various fields. It is also an opportunity to highlight Bahraini women's success stories and identify the available chances to motivate women and attract them in order to increase women's representation and help them reach decision-making positions. Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, praised the continued support of His Majesty, demonstrated by his determination in ensuring the continued presence of women in all fields. This is achieved through directives given to all authorities to implement the concept of equal opportunities in accordance with the Kingdom's constitutional principles. This ensures the presence and participation of women in the public arena, guaranteeing their rights and family status in order to support them to accomplish their national duties with confidence and competence. The Supreme Council for Women is committed to accomplishing more for Bahraini women in the context of mainstreaming women's need in national plans and ensuring qualitative change towards the constituency of women's advancement. This is especially since the capabilities and qualifications of Bahraini women are considered essential national gains in the context of the comprehensive development path. The country appreciates every Bahraini woman insisting despite all difficulties on making the efforts to serve Bahrain and protect the national gains obtained since the beginning of the last century. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,336.53 points, marking an increase of 3.54 points above last closing. The increase was in the industrial sector and investors traded mainly in the same sector with 59.8% of total shares. 119 transactions included 7,988,039 shares worth 1,878,228 Bahraini dinars. Real growth in the non-oil sector of Bahrain's economy reached an annual rate of 4.7% in the third quarter of 2016. This marked a clear acceleration from the 3.6% during the second quarter, according to the latest figures published by the Economic Development Board. The third quarter of 2016 saw Bahrain's non-oil economy gather momentum in spite of fluctuating oil prices and international volatility that has placed downward pressure on regional and global growth. There was a strong expansion across a range of sectors such as social and personal services, construction and financial services. Some key projects include a $3 billion project for Alba's Potline, an associated 800 million power station deal, a $1 billion contract for the airport modernization program and a new 355 million Banagas gas plant project. 
more than 100 million Bahraini dinars in direct foreign investment was injected into local economy through the efforts of Economic Development Board during 2016. The ADB chief executive Khalid al-Rumehi discussed Bahrain's recent economic achievements and its future outlook. He reported that the ADB has attracted 106 million Bahrain dinars in investment with 40 new companies. The investments are expected to generate more than 1,600 job opportunities in the next three years.